Good morning, my friends. I'm Olivia. Welcome to my Silver Sneakers Chair Yoga class. Let's get started. <laughs> All right, so settle into the back of the seat, if you will. Slide that spine on back there and settle in. And just imagine you've just run a 5K. All right, and so you're tired. Just imagine. And so your body is tired, your whole body is tired. So let it rest. Bring that breath all the way into the base of your lungs. Maybe open your mouth. And so think of letting your body rest after that 5K you just ran. Your body needs to respire now. So deep breath in through the nose, and exhale through the nose. Keep some moisture in the body, warmth, and let it be calming to the nervous system. Feel the belly move out as you bring that breath all the way into the base of the lungs. And then begin to imagine your whole body is breathing. Through the shins, through the thighs, through the arms and the shoulders. sense of calm just sort of fill you up. And then just eyes open, soft gaze, just let them open gently. And we travel out to the edge of the seat. Underneath the knees. Let's take the feet a little bit wider. I'm just going to kind of roll around my sit bones here first. A little bit of movement in the hips and the pelvis. Maybe take it a little bit deeper if you'd like. And then let's switch directions, go the other way. sit bones. Let's walk the feet back in just a little bit. All right. Bring the shoulders in. Up, around, and down. Here we go. And then let's switch directions. So from the back to the front. Yeah. Ooh. Lots of crackling. <laughs> remind the feet to stay grounded yeah, and the sit bones and then as I tip my head over I'm gonna let this left shoulder drop downward a little bit maybe a little tuck in the chin wherever you feel that tight spot go ahead and move into that and see what kind of length you can create there all right let's move to the other side so take a moment square the shoulders up and then let that right shoulder drop down as the head moves over and once again maybe you find a tight spot maybe you want to drop the chin and lift it all right and coming right back up 
Or this is a stretch that we were on the plane, we did, you know, it came on the screen as we got real close to the end. <clears throat> Hands behind your head right there. Yeah. And if this is challenging, by all means, please feel free to take the hands down here. We're going to press the elbows back and lift the heart. And then from here, just bring the elbows in, <coughs> gentle on the neck here as well, in the head, but just bring the elbows in. And then again, same thing. Lifting, open, feel that great stretch in the chest. And then lower down. One more time, on an inhale, lifting, and on an exhale, just gently, gently on the neck there. All right, right hand down, left hand is going to reach to the ceiling, and then maybe come over just a little bit. Now I'm going to reach with my fingers, and then pull down, and this time I'm going to reach with a fist and see how that changes the feel, and then open with a hand. Right, so like you're going to punch the air and then come down, maybe begin to take that elbow back a little bit further. Punch up and release the hand. One more time, up and release the hand. Bring the hand right in front, let's hold it right there. And then stretch the fingers towards the diagonal. Now watch this doesn't happen. You wanna keep the shoulders squared up and just reach the fingers, head over heart over pelvis, always think that. All right, we give it a toss. All right, same thing, we reach up over a little bit and then come down. So now we're going to punch up with that fist and then come down. Maybe begin to take that elbow back a little bit further and a little bit of a twist with us and back. A couple more. And back. And one more time. And back. And then swoop across. Clean off that table. Square up the shoulders to the front and let the fingers extend. Yeah, nice and tall. Give it a toss around. All right, deep breath in, lift the heart. Exhale, I'm gonna encircle my kneecaps and roll towards the fleshy part of my seat. And then again, inhale, lifting the heart. And then exhale, round. Lifting, and I say lift the heart because if I say lift the chin, your head will fall back. But if you keep the head in alignment with the rest of the body and just lift the chin, then you're not gonna cram up those vertebrae in the back of the neck. So lift the heart, and exhale. <coughs> One more time. And exhale. All right, let's bring the feet together, and then I'm just gonna wash the wall around, moving side to side. Without moving the knees, pay attention to that. Glue the feet to the ground, but follow your hands so that upper body's gonna rotate as well. And one more time. All right, come back to the front. Now, I want you to just drop the hands. I'm gonna stand up, but I don't want you to stand up. And I'm gonna take my right hand back, and then with my left hand, I'm gonna reach around and grab the, in, the inside of my arm right there. Got that? Okay. You can bend the elbow here if you can't. If you can't get it, that's okay. Just leave the hand in the middle of the back. And then we're gonna take this rotation towards the right wall. So let that right shoulder come back a little bit deeper. This will help the stretching through the chest right there. Knees and everything still facing the front. Yep. All right. And then come back to the other way. Release around that upper body. Okay, let's go the other way. So we're going to take that hand back and reach around, grab the crook of the elbow right there. You can bend the elbow as much as you need to here. Deep breath in, long spine. And exhale, we're going to rotate. And taking the gaze over the shoulder. Be sure you're sitting even on both sit bones instead of letting that left sit bone lift up. Yep. Breathe in. And then come on back to the front. Again, deep breath in. Exhale, round the spine. All right, coming up. Let's bring that right knee up with you. All right, in and out. Flex the foot. Come right back in. Drop the toe down. And again. And let's just try this opening the arms. You can drop the foot down if that's um, more accessible to you. That's fine. Open wide. And then bring it in. And again, open. And in. One more time. And bring it in. Let's keep that left hand on there. And nice and tall, we're going to rotate over to the right wall. All right. And then back to the front. Let's take the other side. And I'll start first maybe holding on to the leg, but if you're comfortable letting go, still on the tip of the sit bones, 
and go ahead and do that. Drop down and out. Again, a couple more. And out. Up towards the face, towards the shoulder. And last one. Now keep that right hand on it. And then we're going to rotate over to the left. Uh, left wall. Thank you. <laughs> that looks so nice twist. All right. And come on back to the front. Let's slide that right leg out. Hold on to the chair. Just lift the chest. Keep that toe coming to the ceiling here. So you get a nice stretch in the back of the leg. <clears throat> ah, and then let's switch to the other side. Same thing. Toe comes to the ceiling. Nice calf stretch right there. Hands on the chair. Sit back into them. Lift the heart. And back. All right. Deep breath in. Exhale. Forward fold. Look down towards the toes. And then take this halfway rise. Heart comes forward. And reach into chair pose, and we're going to come into this powerful pose here. Now, what I want you to do is put the sit bones back on the chair. So I've kind of rolled forward, and I'll show you from the side. I've kind of rolled forward. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my sit bones and tailbone back on the chair. And then I'm going to take the gaze up. Yeah. Reach to the ceiling. Forward fold, and this time roll the spine back up. All right. Feet underneath you. We're going to stand up. You have choices here. Here, here. Here, here, whatever you'd like. Deep breath in. Exhale, all the way up. Reach to the ceiling. Lovely. Little side stretch. Yep. And then we'll take the other side. Ah, and forward fold. Hinge at the hip, bend the knees. Halfway rise. Look about four feet in front. And then circle sweep. Let's ride all the way. We'll pass through. Chair pose. And down. All right. Grab a drink of water. Come around to the back of the chair. Very, very nice. Smile on your face. <laughs> All right. And step back into downward facing dog. Walking your feet out. When was the last time you did one of these, huh? Mm, okay. <laughs> Point that tailbone to the back wall. Maybe sink into one knee and the other. Just feel those different sensations in your hips, in the legs, maybe in the shoulders as you scoop the belly here, maybe in that low back, maybe turn the tailbone to one corner, maybe the other corner. And then back, just come to some stillness. And then try to take the weight more towards the feet than on the hands now. So soften your knees, get ready for that. And then let's step the right foot out to the right just a little bit, maybe outside the chair. I'm going to take my right hand on top of my left hand. Maybe sink into your right knee a bit. Maybe push the hips over to the right. And then pass through the center. We'll go the other way. So left foot out to the left. Left hand on top of the right. Bend in that knee a little bit if that feels good. And breathe. Both feet come back together. Hands on the thigh muscles. Let's reverse one dive up. Forward fold right smack down the center and take this halfway rise. All right, circle sweep. Come into chair pose. We're going to do the same thing. Tailbone to the ground. Powerful pose. Take the gaze up and push the ceiling back up. Lovely. All the way down. All right, check out. All right, coming to the chair. You've got it there for support if you need it. And just come into mountain pose. Heels underneath the sit bones, a little micro bend in the knee. Tailbone draws downward towards the ground and broaden the collarbones as much as you can. So let those shoulder heads point to the side walls. You know, if we do this, they're not pointing to the side walls. So just settle in and broaden the collarbones here, nice and tall. Close the eyes maybe, maybe drop the fingers to the chair if you need them. Mountain pose. It's an active posture. Feel all parts of your foot in the shoe or on the earth. The toes are doing their job to balance you as well. All right. And then deep breath in. All right. Okay. So I'm going to sink in. I'm going to move this out of the way. I'm going to sink into my left knee and just lift the right heel from the ground and let it rotate out to the side and come right back. In fact, I'm going to bring it a little across my midline here. If you've had a little hip, if you, not a little hip replacement, if you, <laughs> it's like being a little bit pregnant, right? If you've had a hip replacement, you, you may have been told not to cross that midline yet, just be careful. 
and do what your doctor says always. So just bringing it across a little bit more. And again. All right, from here, bring it out. I'm going to extend it out and step on the hip, step on the foot. Circle out and come on back. Bring that toe up. Again, circle out and bring it back. Both knees have got a nice bend in them here. Breathe and exhale, rock back. Maybe lift that back heel, lift the front toe. And again, one more time. And back, bring that foot back, take a deep breath in. I'm going to go to the other side, same thing. So sink into that right knee and lift that left heel. Rotate out. <laughs> I almost said rotate ouch. <laughs> yeah, a little t- twinge there for me. And across the midline. So you work that outer thigh, work that inner thigh right there. All right, and that range of motion in your hip. And again, without moving the body, hold real still. Extend it out. We're going to step out, reach, and pull it back. Lift the toe. Sink into the knees here. And come back. One more. And back. Last one. Bring that foot back. Deep breath in. And hands on the chair. Step back to downward facing dog. Let's take wide standing downward facing dog. So take the feet wider than chair width if that's comfortable for you. All right? You may find you take a step a little bit, go a little bit deeper in it this way. And then keeping legs pretty straight, push your hips over to the right or the left, doesn't matter. Get a little inner thigh stretch. And then push them over the other way as well. All right, walking your feet in, toe heel, toe heel. Hands on the thigh muscles. Hard forward. Okay, my knees are bent. I'm going to come into chair pose. Be sure you can see your toes. Powerful pose. Take the gaze up, turn the tailbone towards the ground, and push the ceiling up. All the way down. Step that right foot in, step back on the left, and we'll rise up in warrior one. Crook your shoulders. Connect the ribs to the hips, and know that the chair is there for balance if you need it. We're going to take an arc over to the right. Again, use that chair if you need it here. Pass through the center, and we go the other way. Grounding through both feet here. Nobody falls. All the way here. All right, reach around, hold that big beach ball right there on your backside, and then slide it down towards the tail. So feel, feel the shoulders pull away from the ears there. Heart comes forward. We're going to circle sweep. Step that back foot in. Deep breath in, upward salute. And we go the other side, step back to the ball heel. Front knee over the ankle, back leg is straight, and arms up. Drop your shoulders, connect the ribs to the hips, and we take this arc over. Other way. Nobody falls, use the chair if you need it. Circle back, grab that beach ball and slide it down by your heel. Long neck here, circle sweep, step together, deep breath in. All right, let's do it one more time. Step back, warrior one. Arc over. Nice stretch in the front of that leg, arc over. Reach back, hinge at the hips. A long line from the crown of the head to the heel. Circle sweep, step together. And back into warrior one on the other side. Use the chair anytime. Away from that foot. You've got this big fit ball up here, yeah? And here. Feel the transfer of weight in the legs when you do that. Reach back, hinge forward, and circle sweep. Step forward, deep breath in, and down. Step the feet out wide. And let's turn that right toe to the right wall. All right. I'm going to sink into that knee and rise back up. Using the chair if you need to. Otherwise, I'm going to take my arms out, and then I'm going to wrap them in. Open wide, wrap them in, and again. Open that left toe faces the front, right toe faces the right wall. You can get off the tightrope. If you need a little broader base there, that's okay. And back in, all right, we're gonna hold this right here, find our warrior, two. Arms are parallel to the ground. Maybe turn the gaze, look over the two-piece fingers first, 
And then to get to the right hand, drop the chin and look over towards the right or left shoulder and the left fingers. And then we come back. All right. Check, right? And head over heart over pelvis to the center. I'm going to press my little fingers back just a little bit. Use the chair anytime you need to. Lifting the heart. Deep breath in. Both arms up. Now drop that left hand. Turn the gaze towards that right arm. Nothing's changed in the low half, right? Knee over the ankle. The front back leg is straight. Reaching into peaceful warrior. Now we're going to paint that wall, that right wall. So reach for that paintbrush up high and reach out to the right wall as we windmill the arms. This knee is over the ankle. And I'm going to reach that left arm skyward again. Anytime you need the chair, please do. And maybe turn the gaze towards that arm. Let's let that hand float, or arm, float towards your cheek there maybe. And then find some length again, so these fingers are going to stretch far from the heel. Breathing deep. Remember that nice calm breath when we were seated? Find it again. Circle that arm around. And come right back. Toes to the front. Hands on the hips. Lifting the heart. Now, this is going to remind you to keep that tailbone drawing down to the ground. Lift the heart. A little chest expansion here. All right. And release wide standing downward or um, mountain pose. Whoa. That's a lot of work, huh? Imagine your feet are slipping out. Maybe some of yours are slipping out. <laughs> so you want to pull them inward and work those inner thighs. You'll feel that in the outside. Feel that in the inside on your legs. All right. We go the other way. So turn that left toe. Sink into that left knee. Knee over the ankle. Back leg straight. Check. Open wide. Round that upper body and give yourself a hug. And again, open wide. Put the other arm on top if you can remember. Again, one more time. And exhale. All right, and then we come into warrior two. Over the two peace fingers on the left hand, check. Drop your chin, look over that right hand, check. Parallel to the ground. And then come back to that left hand. Both arms up. We're going to drop that right hand. Keep that left arm reaching skyward. So very nice. Lovely. And then notice how you want to kind of sink into this hip here. What I want you to do is reach to the ceiling, and you're going to notice that right hip drops, and that left hip's going to lift up a little bit so that pelvis gets a little more parallel to the earth. Reaching. And here we go. We're going to paint that left wall, so reach out to it. Windmill the arms, use the chair whenever you need to. Notice that knee is over the ankle. In fact, you can take that hand down here and, and keep that knee tracking right over the toes right there, right over the ankle. And maybe take the gaze skyward. Up to you. Let that hand flow towards your cheek, on your face. <laughs> Not the other cheek. Breathe. Find that good calm breath. Find that mountain pose of broad collarbones right there. All right, drop that arm down and around. And back to warrior two. And back to wide standing mountain pose. Deep breath in star pose. Drop your shoulders, connect the ribs to the hips. Bring, draw the feet inward. Yeah, so push into the ground. Push into that sand. Yeah. And hands together. All the way down. Walk them in. Shake them out. <laughs> and let's go back to downward facing dog. Step on back. Tailbone to the back wall. A little tip in the pelvis right there. Hollow your belly. Maybe bend the knees a little bit deeper. Stretch the shoulders a little bit more. All right, hands back to the thigh muscles. Reverse swan dive all the way up. All right, smack down in the center, halfway rise. Squeeze in the shoulder blades. This time, release back down, and we're going to reverse one dive all the way back up. All right, lovely, and down. All right, grab a drink of water. We shall come back. Mm, that's good to be back, stretching again. <laughs> 
come mountain pose. I'm using the chair, I'm gonna ride up on my toes. So lift the heels, whatever is comfortable. Come all the way up like you had on five inch heels or come up like you're wearing flats, but see if you can lift the heels off the ground. Maybe find balance. Let's just rock one heel down and then up and over to the other side. All right. So see if you can attempt this without chair. Maybe fingers will help you do that. None of that. Okay. And let's leave. Okay, let's leave the left heel up since that's the one I have up. And we're gonna slide it out. So I want you to keep the heel out or up and reach it way back there. All right, so we're gonna come into our high lunge. This is balance. I have a little micro bend in my knee, but my front knee is over the ankle. And you decide how deep you're gonna take that, but keep that heel up in the back if that's accessible for you. Reaching up, reaching up. Drop your shoulders. Turn the palms out. Let the elbows come back. And bring the heart forward. All right, my hands come into namaste position. I'm gonna hinge at my hip. So feel that long line from the crown of the head to the tail, that long straight line, right? So I haven't rounded my upper body and sunk into this. Keep the heart coming forward as I do this. Now, I'm gonna use the chair to start. I'm gonna put my left hand on the chair. I'm gonna bring my left shoulder underneath my right shoulder and add this rotation looking to the right wall. If this is accessible, take both hands there at your heart. Your thumbnail is pressing into that breastbone there. But keep that hand near the chair if you need it. That's why it's there. Breathe in deep. One more breath. All right, come on back to the center. You're gonna look back at the chair, lifting up, and we're gonna come into warrior two. Reach forward with that right hand, reach back with the left hand. Straighten that front leg, and go ahead and use that chair. I'm gonna hinge at the hip and come into triangle pose. Let that left arm reach skyward. And use the chair, it's great accessible right there for you. The hips are gonna to push to the back wall here, and both legs are straight. If that's accessible, maybe turn the gaze a little more skyward. If that also works. Beautiful. All right, let's drop both hands to the chair. Lifting the heart. Step that back foot in. Back to mountain pose. The other side. We're going to do the same thing right up on the toes. And just a little rock and roll. A little Stairmaster, kind of work, heel down. And so you're gonna leave the other foot up. <laughs> Which one is it, the right one? I guess, I'm gonna leave that one up and slide it back, sinking into that front knee. You're gonna keep that heel up and come into our high lunge. Drop your shoulders, connect the ribs to the hips. Good and secure here. Hand on the chair if you need it, but fire on these core muscles to hold yourself here. Hands at the heart, I'm going to hinge forward. So I've got this long line. Sense that. It's like a board from the crown of the head to the heel. And then the right hand on the chair, if you need to drop that right shoulder underneath the left shoulder and turn the gaze to the left wall. Twisted lunge. Maybe you'll drop that, you'll bring that other hand to the heart, both thumbnail resting right there at the breastbone. You could add a bind to this if you like. Look back to the chair. Put that left hand on the chair. We're gonna windmill that right arm around, straightening both legs, and hinge at, the, at that left hip, push the hips to the back, and come into triangle pose. Forward, forward, mark forward, yep, yep. Mm -hmm. Left hand on the chair and right hand to the ceiling, there you go. You don't have to use the chair, but it's always there. I like this, I love triangle pose this way because that chair is very accessible this way. Maybe turning the gaze, working the neck right there. Fire on the legs, give the thigh bones a good squeeze with your thigh muscles. Belly in. One more. All right, both hands.
let's come back to the chair, sink into that back knee, slide that foot in, deep breath in, and take a forward fold, halfway rise, circle sweep, okay, come into powerful pose, open the arms, now turn that tailbone towards the ground as you take the gaze up, nice, and hold the ceiling back up, beautiful, all the way down, all right, shake out. Have a drink of water. Come back. That was great. All right. We shall balance a bit here. Let's get behind the chair again. And slide that right foot back. Both feet on the ground. You're going to want to get off the tightrope here. Okay? So walk that foot out. Everything's about hip distance apart. Looks like mountain pose, except one foot's in front of the other. Yeah, nice and tall. Draw that tailbone uh, downward. So you'll feel a little stretch in this hip flexor right here. Okay, we tend to want to sink into this. Hip bones on high beams here. Yeah, And then sink into that front knee, deep breath in. And we're gonna set flight, all right? Or set sail. You're gonna push off that back foot, use the chair if you need to, or push off the front foot, use the chair if you need to and come into airplane pose. And that back foot can stay on the ground, it can lift, and you can use the chair, bringing the heart forward wherever you are. All right, from here, sink into that knee, tap the toe, and lift. Two more times, using the chair anytime. And one more time. All right, from here, we come into tree pose. I am not grabbing hold of my chair, but if you need it, do so. All right. Breathing deep. Press that foot into your calf or the toe to the ground. Breathing deep. All right. Bring the hands together at the heart. And step that foot down. Good morning. Welcome. Did we get the time wrong? Wonderful. <laughs> Wonderful. I love it. I love it. Yay, right? I'm so thrilled. Um, I know there's at least one chair back there, and there's also a pew you can sit on, pretend like you're in church. <laughs> so, oh, thank you. Thank you. Have a seat. Come in and, and watch. Participate if you'd like. We're about to sit back down, so perfect timing. All right. So from our mountain pose, we're going to slide that left foot back. And just come, it's like a walking step, and I just caught you in the middle of it, right? So it's comfortable. Both feet are square on the ground. Let that tailbone draw down towards the ground. You feel a nice little stretch in that leg right there. Yeah, so just bring the hands to the heart. Pyramid pose with namaste, or extended namaste. <laughs> We're going there with our tree pose in a moment. And just settle in that, onto this posture. You should feel this nice little stretch here in the leg. Feel yourself very centered and balanced over your feet. It's mine are rocking and rolling. All right, so we're going to set, set flight here, set sail. Sink into that front knee, using the chair if you'd like to. Pop that back foot off the ground. And I'm going to flex that foot to send some energy out that leg. One hand, two hands, toe on the ground, whatever will be accessible for your airplane pose today. Let that heart come forward. It's almost like you're trying to catch that wind with your front body. That wind goes racing down the back body and helps you to set flight. All right, bend that front knee, tap the toe on the ground. Rise up. Again, bend that front knee. Use the chair. It's okay. <laughs> That's why it's there. All right. One more time. Bend it. And lift. And then bring that foot together. Deep breath in. And step away from the chair so you don't hit your face. We're going to forward fold. Halfway rise. Bring the hands to the crease of the hips. Squeeze the shoulder blades in like you're going to hold a pencil between them. And then swoosh the arms all the way up. Deep breath. And exhale down. Oh, was that the other leg? Darn it! <laughs> <laughs> I 
I knew there was something missing. <laughs> I didn't do that in the plane to go overseas. <laughs> <laughs> and you didn't wear your slippers in like I did either today. Okay, let's go back to tree pose. I knew there was something else. Okay, so I'm going to take that same... Which leg is back? <laughs> Left leg is back. Okay, thank you. I don't always mess up this way, but he keeps me on task. <laughs> All right, so from here, use the chair if you need it. Otherwise, I'm going to sweep into tree pose. And you have choices. You can put the foot right there at your calf muscle, or you can put the toe on the ground. I call that sapling pose. Do what you want with your arms, here, here, on the chair, whatever. Come back to just your breath. All right, and with intention, put that foot back on the ground. Reach to the ceiling, and again, step back. <laughs> Halfway rise, hands slide up. I always say it's like you're looking at a dog or a small child sitting on the ground, and then circle sweep, pick that child up. Deep breath in and down. All right. Was that better? <laughs> Thanks. All right. Shake out. Grab a drink of water. And we'll sit back down. Oh, boy. I knew there was something missing there. All right. Still at the edge of your seat, please. All right. We're going to get our performance stretch in. So lifting up on that right knee. And then I'm going to turn my heel and let it slide from my knee down to my ankle. And then slide it back up. It's like you're scratching your shin with your heel. And you take this range of motion that may not come up this high, it may. But this time we're going to bring it up and lift it over. Now if you've been told not to cross your midline, hip replacement, hip trouble, knee trouble, just put that foot right on the ground. Otherwise, I'm going to cross it up there. You can support it here. You can open it up. It's up to you entirely. Press that low back forward so you are going to sit nice and tall in mountain pose. And then you'll really feel that stretch. Yeah. You want a little bit more? Maybe hinge forward, but do it with that long spine. It's up to you entirely. Breathe deep. It's a deep stretch and it needs a lot of breath to help you let go. <coughs> All right, let's push back up. That's a stretch I encourage you to do every day. And it's easy to do. You're sitting watching TV. Yeah, just do that. You know, lift this leg up. And I'm going to cross it over. If that's not accessible, go ahead and put it on the ground. That's fine. We're going to take the same stretch we did earlier today. Both hands back. I'm going to stand up just so you can see me. I'm going to take my left hand and reach around and grab um, my, inner thought, my inner arm right there. And then deep breath in. Exhale. Let's add this rotation. So you're going to sort of use this left arm to kind of pull that right elbow back, pull that right shoulder back, and take the gaze to the right wall. Again, if that's not accessible, you can just release the hands there. That's fine. All right, come on back to the front. Release your hands now. I'm going to take that leg off. It's almost like you're going to hold a beach ball right here in front. I want you to take a deep breath in. Exhale, tuck the tailbone and roll the spine back. Tuck your chin towards your chest. And then inhale, lift the arms up. And release down. Up with you comes the left leg now. And bring it up and in towards the shoulder. So a little stretch in the back, lower leg, or upper leg. And then we're going to do the same thing. Turn the heel towards the knee. Squeeze that heel in towards your shin and slide it down. Slide it back up. And again. And slide it back up. Up and over. And so we come into the stretch on this side. Again, down on the ground is just fine. That's not accessible. Find the very tip of the sit bones. You can support this leg or open it. You may hinge forward if that feels good to you. Yeah, up to you. Find your stretch here. It's a great one. This, this piriformis muscle loves that sciatic nerve. And um, 
boy, when they get together, it can be painful. <laughs> and this will help keep that muscle soft and supple in there. And do try to let it relax and using your breath. this leg over. Again, on the ground is just fine. And then take the arms back. We're going to reach with the right hand around to the crook of the elbow there. Nice and tall. Deep breath in. We have this rotation. Yeah. So this um, right arm is going to pull this left elbow back just a little bit. So even on both sit bones, you're going to want to lift up on that left sit bone there. So ground that as well. Nice. breath in and exhale come on back to the front all right let's take the feet wide and take this around the world a couple more times all right as you come back you want to fire on the core muscles here and again and then switch directions go the other way you can stay up at the top you can take this as deep as you like i happen to like the way this feels And then up to the very top, and I put one of those great big fit balls here in front of you, and you're going to round over it. Deep breath in. Round over this beach ball. And then come with your hands to the front of your knees, maybe your shins. Pull that navel towards the spine and breathe into the back ribs. Let them lift to the ceiling. And one more. Right to the ceiling. Lift the ribcage. And then roll the spine right back up. All right, let's take that stretch that I learned in the airplane. Opening the arms. So just supporting your head there gently, elbows back and up. And then exhale. I'm going to bring the elbows together just gently on the head right there. One more time. And exhale. All right, release the hands. Walk the hips back one at a time. So you've got to use those obliques. Lift that sit bone up. Walk on back. All right, and one more. Extend the legs out in front. Yes, I did this. This was part of the stretch we got on the plane. It was cool at the end. And I looked back across the plane. Everybody's reaching their arm up. It was neat. Most people were, not everybody. All right. Well, that was a great idea. All right. I'm sorry? Exactly, exactly. And then push the spine back into the chair. Yeah. And settle in. Open your eyes really wide. Wrinkle up your face like I just gave you a lemon juice. And then just let the face muscles relax. All right. Let's pull the shoulders up like you're cold. Yeah. Oh. And release them down. And make a tight fist. And then just let it relax. And then there's a mouse running across the floor. You're going to lift the feet up. <laughs> Release them back down. And then let the eyes just drift closed. Long inhale, long exhale. You can do it through the mouth if you'd like. <sighs> and once again, you've just ran a 5K. Your body is exhausted, so settle into the chair and give it a moment to come to stillness. As you breathe deep.
soft little jaw muscles relax. Your shoulders release away from your ears. That front body just sink to the back body. You have let go. to wiggle your fingers and toes. Bringing your hands together at your heart, eyes open, soft gaze. We had four massages when we were there. Oh. And a couple of foot massages. And as we, one place we really loved, and as we walked up the stairs to the massage area, on the wall was engraved by the doll, from uh, saying the Dalai Lama, be, be calm. Pacify your agitated self and let go of stress. <laughs> Kap kung ka. So here's what else I learned when I was there. That when you, um, when, you, when you greet people, if these are friends, your hands are here. If it was your parents, your hands are here. If you're greeting a teacher, your hands are here. And if you're greeting a priest, a monk, the hands are up over your head. So, kap kung ka. <laughs> Thank you all. Have a great day. <laughs> Yeah.